All right, so this is a pop quiz. What is the largest organ on your body? It's your skin. Did you know that? It is your skin, our skin, and it performs many vital functions. But with the change in climate, our skin faces more threats than ever before. Joining us this morning um, to discuss understanding your skin, dermatologist Dr. Dania Montague Prince with us this morning. She practices out of uh, Dermacare Skin and Body Center at Lee Gore Business Center. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you Simone. for being here with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Um, do we really understand what's happening with climate change and the correlation with what that does to this largest organ that we have? Do we know? Well, there are actually a lot of things happening with skin and climate change. One of the things that, have, that has happened with climate change is exposure to more UV rays because of the depletion of the ozone layer. So what you'll find happening is premature aging of the skin, which can show up as fine lines, wrinkles and age spots. More detrimental than that is the exposure and the risk, increased risk of skin cancer. Mm. Um, there is a large misconception though that black people or people with dark skin don't get kin skin cancers. Oh, that and so? that, that's really not so. Where did that come from? In fact, a big case out of Jamaica that we should all be aware of is Bob Marley. We all heard that he died of skin or died of cancer of the toe. Actually, it was skin cancer that he had, melanoma, mm. right? Okay. So we are at risk, and there are many things that we can actually do to help ourselves with the changes in climate. Before you get to what we can do, let's talk about how, break it down first so we can understand how the skin works. So it, lets, it keeps the inside world, it keeps the inside world in and the outside world The outside world, world out. out. But drill down on that for me. Okay, so the skin has several functions. Some of the more important functions include thermoregulation. So really what that is, is it helps to manage temperature within our body. Um, secondly, it can help to, it's as, it acts as a barrier, mm -hmm. right? So it helps to keep too much water from getting in or helps us from losing too much water as well. It also acts as a mechanical barrier to damage from the outside. It also helps as an immune function. It has an immune function, sorry. So it actually detects and helps to fight infections. Okay. And so we have to be careful what we absorb into the skin, right? That is important. And all these pollutants Simone. that are in the air now. That is true. So how we keep them out? So it's difficult to keep pollutants out, right? Because they are there. They do cause irritation to the skin. So what we can do is try our best to decrease the production of pollutants. That's as much as we can do in terms of air pollution. Okay. Yes. Um, all right. So before we, again, we talk about the tips and what we can do. Let's talk about folks who have um, issues like eczema, for example, right. who might be experiencing grief, grief during this period of heat. Right. How does it manifest, first of all? So the most common symptom of eczema is actually itchy skin. But other things that we can also see when eczema manifesting as are also rashes, blisters, dry and cracked skin mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. and what else is acting up during this period of, of climate change? So in the heat, as we know, the summer is on, we tend to see more fungal infections during this time. And that's simply because fungi love the warmth and moisture. And when you say fungal so, infections, like liver spots? Liver so. spots. So Jamaicans, we like to call it liver spots, but the true name is tinea versicolor. Yeah, liver spot work, because <laughs> I don't know what is it, tinea? Tinea versicolor. versicolor. Right. That. Okay. So That's a big name fungal for it. infections, eczema, yes. anything else? Um, and as I said, in terms of more exposure to the UV light, skin cancers are on the rise. Gotcha. Uh, and lots of people sweating, so we should be drinking a lot of Drinking, water replacing <laughs> all, all the heat. In terms of the heat as well, there are several things that we can do and the exposure to UV radiation. So one, you should try to avoid direct sunlight during the hours of 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. So that is the time when the UV rays are at its highest, right? Mm. Or the sun exposure is at its highest. Okay. Secondly, 
always wear sunscreen. There's a misconception that with black people, because we have melanin, we don't need sunscreen. That is a lie, right? We should always wear sunscreen SPF 30 and above. Whether you're working from home or going out, it's something that you should always do. Even if you're working from Even home? Even if you're working inside? from home. Inside? Why? Reason being, right, we may be working from home at our window. The sunlight is still coming in and also lights emit UV rays as well that we need to protect ourselves That's from. That's really important. That is okay. important. Okay. Uh, what's the third one? Another thing that we can also do is wear protective clothing. So if you know that you're going to be exposed to direct sunlight, you should try to wear long sleeved shirts, long pants or even wide brimmed hats. Well, we have a lot of people wearing those, but usually they're bleaching, <laughs> which is something you don't want to do with this. Generally, you don't want generally, to do it. But in this generally, weather, oh my God, it you must be dead. Right. And if you are unable, say you're going for a beach day, right, and you're going to have your bikini on, what you can do is try to sit in a shaded area, like get a cabana or sit on an umbrella. Okay. I just pictured myself on, in my bikini <laughs> on the beach. Not going to happen. Right. <laughs> okay. So avoid direct sunlight between 11 and 3. Always wear sunscreen, SPF 30 and, 30 above. and above. So below doesn't give you enough protection? Not enough. Okay. Not enough. And 30 that's is where you, you want to be. Makeup? Well, we do have some mineral makeups that add some SPF protection, but if you don't have anything like that, we want to go 30 and above. That okay. gives you the best protection. So you put on that and then you put your makeup on. Yes, on definitely. Okay, wear protective clothing, and then if you go into the beach, find some shade. If you're not in the water, right? Um, why bring Another and thing, search? Simone, yes. that I forgot to say about sunscreen is that we should all reapply our sunscreen after every two hours. That's something that we don't do. Another thing is, after sweating profusely and after swimming, you'll need to reapply again, or you'll need to reapply again. <laughs> <laughs> Three times, four times, five times means you reapply again and again and again. Okay, wow, very useful tips um, for us this morning. Heat stroke is a thing, right? Right. If you don't, if you don't, um, well, this is prolonged exposure to the sun. Prolonged rays. exposure. We're talking to the about sun. Uh, the longer we expose to the sun, the weaker our antioxidant defenses are, and those are meant to protect the skin from the harmful radiation right. sources. Right, right. So please, uh, all of these tips that you hear Doc is giving you is not for fun, it's a very, very serious thing. Um, avoid the sunlight if you can sunscreen and reapply every two hours and every you look two the pharmacy hours or wherever you buy a sunscreen you're looking for fpf spf 30 and, and above then, right what so is you SPF can go up to up? it's a sun protection factor and okay. it's basically a relative measure of protection from sunburn okay so a 50 will give you more protection from sunburn when compared to a 30. okay gotcha wear protective clothing and keep in the shade if you go to the beach that's it do you have any more uh, basically, if you'd like to hear more tips like these, you can follow me on all social media platforms at skindocja. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a word of advice to everybody, just generally, in this time of unprecedented heat and climate change. Unprecedented heat and climate <coughs> change. One, stay indoors if you're able. If you're not able to stay indoors, always wear your sunscreen. That's paramount, right? Wear your protective clothing and try to avoid any triggers if you have diseases such as eczema. Yes, and if you start to see that you have been triggered and your eczema start to act up or you get the rashes or the teraminosis, bacteriosis, <laughs> aka liver spots. Tinea, yes. No, please say the right word, doc. Tinea versicolor. Right, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> then please go and check your doctor. And if you want to see Dr. Uh, Monte Prince, she's at... Vigo Business Center, Dermacare. Dermacare, body skin. Thank and you so center. much for the tips this morning. Thank you so much for having me I'm again, sure Simone. Be here, dermatologist Dr. Dania Montague Prince. We have more on Smile after this break. I think we're heading over, what is that, Clivus? Giveaway to BOJ. Uh, we have another giveaway for you just before we do that, though. Here's a question. Is there a question? <laughs> giveaway for our father courtesy of Massey Distribution. It's a brute basket. First father to call the number on the screen. Simple thing. Just call. See there? 733 First father to call. This is yours. I'll be right back. <laughs> 